just went to the bagelry. I'm just outside. Honestly, it is my obsession. Like these days, like it really is. I am so excited. So they actually do vegan bagels in here, um, which is like rare to find like nice vegan food. And I've just felt like really bored this weekend. I've been working so hard, and I was like, you know what? <gasps> no, you look at that. No, you look at that. So there. I don't think I can rip the bag. <gasps> That is vegan. That is vegan. So if you're doing vegan anyway, or you're vegan, or you're not vegan, because they obviously do normal, they do normal vegan. That is a bacon and hash and cheese stack. So got myself that. Um, and then I also got myself, which I've never got before, the tater tots. These are salt and pepper with a vegan curry sauce, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try one of these, because I've already tried the bacon stack, but I'm gonna eat it when I get home. Um, but, oh my God. No, they look sensational. No, look, look at them. Wow, I'm gonna have to have one of them. I hope they're not too hot and spicy, but wow, wow. Oh my god. Oh. Oh what? I think someone just I think the postman just ran over something. They're nice that way. No, a little bit of a spice, bit of a kick at the back, but they are unreal. So in other news, this morning something very exciting happened. Gilly's podcast first aid! First aid, is that what you say? I don't know. But finally back. Um, technically it's the 12th episode, but my first one as a solo, a solo podcasty. Podcaster, podcasty, I don't know. And I am buzzing. The amount of feedback I've had already is amazing. If you do listen to it, please do um, tag me on your socials. I really love seeing like whether you're watching it and things like that. But honestly, thank you so, so much. I'm so glad to be back doing it. It makes me really happy. And I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it. Obviously, I am doing them on my own um, for now. But the guests and things haven't stopped. That's just like an additional factor to the podcast. But I've got really exciting things planned for the year with it so any support that you can offer me would be really really nice um i did come into town by the way to get a bagel because i was having a bit of a not gonna lie i was having a bit of a down morning i've been working all weekend and like yeah just when you have a little bit of a crappy start to the morning even though it should be a happy day because i'm launching my podcast again but like i just feel like i love doing these vlogs because it just shows the realness of life like i feel like sometimes we think like everyone's got it all together and it's all happy thingy but I think it's like when you've worked, I don't know, I don't know how I'm feeling, but I was like, oh, I'm going to come into town and go to TK, go to Primal Home and all that. And to be honest, I just want to go home and eat my bagel. That's the reality of my day. So that is, that is exactly what I'm going to do today. <laughs> Alicia Keyzera ATM. Um, so I'm outside home bargain. I haven't been in ages, you know, and I've seen that they're getting Easter stuff in, Valentine's stuff in, and also um they've got loads of dupes for like the white company and things like that. Um, why have I parked by I'm literally right by the zebra crossing? We're literally I'll show you. We are literally like <laughs> we are literally directly opposite. But yeah, anyway, I am desperate to go in. Um, I'm going to get some bits for... Why do I always do that? Does any other girl do that? Where, like, the pack and everything away and then they put the keys in the bag. But I'm going to have to get my keys out to lock my car, so make it make sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to go in, get some TikToks, and see if we can find the bits. Oh my god, Jews, they've got all the um, Valentine stuff in. But they haven't got that much homeware. They've only got, like, the little bowls and these, like, little hard tea lights. But get on these. They're, like, flipping... Um, Jelly cat dupes. Oh, I didn't take a video of that one. Aren't they cute? I think this one's my fave. Oh, this one, but I do like avocados, but it just wouldn't match with anything. Bit of mind, I hate Teddy, so I wouldn't buy them. Then again, I do like jelly cats, so maybe I would. I don't know, but I think that is a straw. So cute. As of hard, I love Only Fools and Horses. Is that not the funniest card? Bit of mind, I haven't got a Valentine this year, so I went just by myself. They're gorgeous pyjamas, do you know what? Don't sleep on home and bargain pyjamas, you know? How gorgeous are they? Fourteen pound. They're nice as well. They're given slightly Valentine's. Um, and they've got loads of the Yankee candles. Oh my God! All you Harry Potter fans, <laughs> scream! Look at all this. Oh, they've got Hogwarts blankies. Oh my God! Hilarious. I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but I think it's brilliant. I'm hoping that they do have the Easter stuff somewhere. Let me tell you, the homeware is homewearing. Pampers. 
we bought a dupe of the um, Pussy Willow wreath, which is 9.99. I think the White Company one's like 40 quid or something. But literally so many gorgeous like vases. There's all sorts. I love that one. I think that's HM dupe, you know. To hold me to that, but that one definitely is. And that's 3.99. Oh my God, use my life revolves around getting this message to say my storage is full when it's not. So if anyone's got any tips, please let me know before I absolutely scream. I've come in here to get videos. Like. No, oh my god, you have found it. So it's the dupe of the Printworks coffee table albums. They had the black one as well, but it looks like they haven't got that one, which is a bit annoying. Um, but £35.99 for a bargain. The Printworks one's like 50 60 quid. I honestly got so excited then, thinking they were bare bricks. Unfortunately, they're not. Me and this phone are going to fall out. Why have I got no storage? Can someone enlighten me? Because I'm not really good when it comes to stuff like that, like with storage. But like, I've deleted my whole life. And then when I was trying to like delete like messages I've previously, messages that's because messages come through. When I've tried to delete previous like videos and photos when I was walking around, it like kept bouncing back. Like it wouldn't let me delete them. So I needed to, I wanted to go out to shops to fill them. And now I've got to go home and try and sort this out because it's just a recurring issue. Like, I know I have like 90,000 videos and pictures, but this is my job. Like, this is like a 200, and, I think it's like 80 gig phone. But then when you buy it, it's like, oh, yeah, sorry, there's only 100 gigabytes on it anyway. Pointless. Um, so I need to get the biggest phone next time. Next time when I get my next phone, it's going to have to be like, is it like half a terabyte or something? Because I, I can't, you know? lunch ever I'll um, insert a picture because I didn't have time to I was going to film it but I just thought now um, I do like my own take on I had a butter bowl this by the way from Aldi I actually <laughs> it's always sold out my mum goes do you put that on your Instagram because it's always sold out and I'm like no mum it's just that nice it's Spanish rice it's absolutely unreal micro blue mints and then I have like hummus um, I got these from Evan Walden as well, by the way. Now I'm embarrassing, nearly at the park. Um, so, not great, I'm supposed to be doing good because like, I got to buy like, look when I sat like that. Like, I've just had my lunch and look, I've got a proper food baby. Um, yeah, I've just literally nearly had the full back of that. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to be good. I've had that, I've had them, and now I'm going for a Starbucks with me mate. So, make it make sense. And then last night, I got these from Aldi as well, which is like a vegan... Um, brownie mix, really, really nice. Um, that's still there. You only had like a piece of that last night. It was quite sickly, but like I find it hard to find like vegan um, thingyo mixes because you've always got milk powder in it. Um, so yeah, I feel like phew, I suffer terrible. Like I don't know anyone else. Like I down gaps gone like there's no tomorrow. Like I have literally got the worst indigestion ever. Um, so yeah. Also, I went to Home Sense the other day. I don't know. Why I just said it like that, and I forgot to take my camera. A few and I went yesterday, and I seen these. How cute are they? So they're like um, Valentine's teddies, and they're literally like jelly cats. So if you are popping into your local Home Sense or TK Maxx, I think I've got a mark on my camera. One sec. I don't know. Yeah, if you are going into Home Sense TK Maxx. They were literally like max ten pounds, and they obviously jelly cats now are like twenty twenty five. So if you want something like that off your girlfriends or your fella, whatever, um, make sure to head in there. Oh my god, sorry, use. Guess it's probably not helping that I'm like stooped down when I'm just s. You know, I'll put you back up here. Um, yeah. So I'm going for a coffee with a mate who I used to work with, we're still friends now, which is lovely. I do need to put some makeup on. It's not. It's not looking great. Um, but get up, what's just arrived? My bag, I think I did in the last video that I have never really bought myself anything like. I mean, to be fair, I bought designer shoes, but I've never bought like a designer bag. Um, and it was supposed to be £550, and I paid £330. And you know, I don't have like a fella, and I said, like, I'd have bought him something for this value or more, and I'd have probably have asked for something like this anyway. So it's kind of like, why not buy it for myself? You don't need. You don't need to be in a relationship to buy yourself stuff, but that was like my girl math, and like, it was basically free. 
that's how, that's how I'm saying it. Anyway, I'm so excited. So I don't feel like I want to open it now because I'm just not in the right way. I feel like when you open it, it's not like this, you've got to be in the right vibe, you know? And I'm just not because I'm literally in a rush. I'm literally in like 20 minutes in stops. So I'm going to open it when we come back. And then tonight, I'm going to the ballet. We're going to Swan Lake. Um, my dad's got my mum um, tickets for Swan Lake because she's always going to see the ballet. Um, so we're going to see the ballet tonight. I've never been. I'm really excited. That's what you've got to do. Gold caramel white hot chocolate. A golden caramel white hot chocolate. I'm scared. Why is it still in my Christmas cup? I don't know. You really just made me turn around and look when it's literally written oh. on your mug. <laughs> I think when they don't ask me name, it just always adds to the bag. I know. I'm going to do a taste test, right? I'll go You think it's going to be sweet, don't you? I'm always like just the hot chocolate with caramel. Same one. Yes. No, is it not that nice? Yeah, I don't know what that tastes like. I'm not sorry, but like we are not rich enough to try them. Yeah, but it's nice, but I don't know what it tastes like. You know, because you've got oat milk in it. It's it tastes nicer. like porridge. Oh, as I say, is it like golden porridge? Is that it's nice. Are? No, it's nicer. Oh, yeah, right, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get one to get away. <laughs> because I don't drink oat milk, but it's nice. Is it like milky bar, maybe? Yeah. Like, like no caramel. That's what it is, isn't it? Because caramel is like golden white chocolate. It's caramel white chocolate. It's caramel, isn't it? It's caramel. Would recommend to open it. <laughs> Didn't get a chance to open my designer baggie, unfortunately. However. I absolutely despise an outfit, but you know when you're running late and you've just got no choice and you've just got to wear it. I genuinely feel like a 25 year old trying to attempt to wear something that she's wearing year 11. Like, I absolutely love this jumper, it's from Pretty Lavish, but like, sorry, like... <laughs> and I've got my trusty Steve Madden so it does vibe, but like, I actually feel shit. I hope I don't say it anymore. flying so i thought i actually need like a phone tripod for my camera in here but anyway um yeah because long story short i basically need to go and get me prescription for my glasses to be able to send away for them um but i've just been absolutely crying so in this car park i don't know whether anyone's been in the coupe park but it's dead by the way which i absolutely love because over christmas as you know in my other vlogs i was like oh my god the kids are off school and it's absolutely chaos um I've just been absolutely howling. The one of the things like you know you get your ticket was like out of service, so I went in the next one and I had you know the boys a liar, uh, 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 and I was like probably like because when I've got my music on like my car journeys are therapy. Like if anyone like whenever anyone's about to get in the car, they're like oh my god your music, but I'm like I ju it's just therapy for me. It's anyone like it's a therapy drive. Like music's blasting, I'm singing my heart out. Like that's just if you see me on the road, no you didn't. Do you know what I mean? But anyway. I'm like proper belting it out, so I obviously opened my window, like singing, and the fella was on the thing fixing the one that was out of order, and I've just made an absolute show myself, and you know when you just pretend he's not there, and you go, <laughs> I did one of them, <laughs> and just drove off, no, I am more mad, oh my god, only me, honestly, um, 
Also another thing, just before we go to the shops, um, I went to Bali last night, I literally just said that, but I forgot to tell you, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know this, no, there was lads who'd gone with their girlfriends to the ballet, these wore a suit, two couples, their fellas wore a suit, and I mean my age, right, and I just think, when did that ever stop, like why am I like wild for like a lad to be taking a girl out and wearing a suit, why am I wild, like I honestly born in the wrong generation, you know, like I just think that's so lovely, like the only time you ever see a scouse lad wearing a suit is at the races and now they're not even doing so at entry they've stopped doing like the formal wear so lads last year were wearing one tens and a and a polo grow up honestly anyway enough about that i am also going to pop into tk maxx because i believe there's valentine's bear bricks there's also loads of valentine's stuff in so it's gonna be a really good shop we're gonna do primark we're gonna do tk maxx and we're gonna do any other home bits i think the lush valentine stuff's in as well so can't wait. i mean not to be dramatic but i gasped as soon as i walked up these stairs because how insane so they've got these gorgeous like you know the itch and all stuff that i really like they've got like the mugs which have got like a rose in and they're given like proper beauty and the beast they've got all like the little jewelry boxes which i think are gorgeous they've got the buttons they've got these got that, um cup sorry again itch and off they've got a little heart in that's not focusing for some reason let me just put it back there so i can focus it no sorry how gorgeous is that and then they've got the little um tumbler with the heart in as well um, they're from a brand called, I think it's Skoda or something. Um, they've got all like these little bits if you're doing like decorating. But I'm sorry, they've got all the jelly cat dupes. They've got the macarons in the blue and the pink. They've got the conjoined macarons. They've got the conjoined heart, which I think is lovely for like, I don't know, like a mum and a daughter. I think that's a gorgeous gift. Like if you're like a father and don't know what to get your missus, like I think that's gorgeous. Then they've got like like a double cherry there conjoined as well by like the top i think they're like 12.99 which is so good because jelly cats are like 25 plus um and then the singular oh, they've got donuts as well the donuts are they're 9.99 actually they've got the chocolate donuts and the strawberry donuts um they've got the strawberries they've got some gorgeous little pieces which i think are good if you've got a wedding coming up you know for gifts no look at this it's given lulu guinness slash um like Jonathan Adler, absolutely love that, and it's seven ninety nine years. And they've got the toast conjoined. They're actually on TK Maxx online. If they're still there, I did put them on my Instagram, um, and they've probably sold. But if they're not, I'll um, link them. And then they've got this Valentine's bingo. I'm sorry, obsessed. And over there is the candles. We're gonna go over there. Hey, how designer do they look? They were given like I don't know. I'm really designer. I don't know what brand they would be a dupe of, but I think they're gorgeous. And they've got all the like twirly. <gasps> oh, wow. So, as you know, I love Anna and Nina, and she does candles where there's like writing on them. And you can't really see because it's in yellow, but this says unwind and relax. And they are 5 99 The Anna and Nina ones are like 40 quid or something. They're gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm going to start crying. They've got the bubble gum and the strawberry. <gasps> no, these have been on their TikTok. We're going to do a small test. Do you know what that gives me PTSD? It's too strawberry, I don't want to smell the strawberry. Because when I was, I was like eight or something, I had to um, teeth out, I got put a kit. And every time my mum's doing strawberry jelly, I gag. I can't, that's giving me PTSD. No one's gonna start crying like my eyes are starting to water. I don't like that use, but that's personal preference. That is gorgeous. So that is the bubble gum freeze. Wow, that's really nice. Actually, that's giving me a bit of PTSD. I think it's me with like sweet strawberry scent, you know. I get like PTSD. It's not funny, but um, yeah, these are them anyway. How gorgeous this! It's a little um, like sage, you know, kit, and it's got empowering. Wouldn't that be nice? Twenty five ninety nine for like any single mate to like look for love and feel a bit like lonely as Valentine's. I think that's cool. This, which is called Love Potion. Oh, that's nice. Quite fresh. It's not unreal, but it's like they've got sparkle and love love as well. So these are like the DW shades of candles. They went fine on like an Easter last year, and then they've just kept bringing like different scents of different seasons out in the fab. I don't know. That's nice, but it's quite. I don't like sweet candles. I don't think I like Valentine's candles as a whole. To be honest with you, I like this, but it's called Red Velvet Cupcakes. They're the ones where you've got like an actual recipe on the candle, which I think is gorge. My face can't light, it can't. Oh my god, you so they've got cotton candy clouds, now surely that smells good. Oh, it smells like I think it's 
think these are absolutely gorgeous as well. Aren't they nice up around today? No, they haven't got an RRP on, so they mustn't be an expensive brand, but they've got these. So this is the little object um, match tray. And when I Googled it, when I last came, it was like silly money, like 150 pounds, or it says there, it's reduced to 32. I'm gonna put that at the front, because I feel like that needs selling. It. It's really good. And then you've got this as well, which is like hilarious. I love that, that's 7 99 <laughs> I feel like bum candles are out and nose and mouth are in. And how pretty are they? <gasps> no, they're the prettiest thing I've ever seen. How much are they? Are they gorgeous? People have asked me, you put like stems in, like flower stems, and create like a little bunch, like a bouquet, um, and it just looks so pretty. I showed them in the last vlog. Anything textured like that just looks so expensive, you guys. Like it really does. You've got a mini one there, like this textured vase just looks so expensive. Um, this is gorgeous. I love this speckled vase as well, stunning. I just love this, even as a set with like different florals. I'm really obsessed with this as well. That looks so expensive. I don't know how much it is, but it's very light. Um, and then I love this lamp as well. I swear that's Zara, you know. It doesn't say, but it looks very Zara. And that, that lamp at the back is textured. That is gorgeous. Oh, uh, Vincent van Gogh inspired art. Oh, the actual man himself. No, I'm sorry, this trip is top tier. The flippin' Louis Vuitton updated edition style and book. How much is that? Oh my God, it's on sale for 50 quid. Oh. <gasps> No use, do I get it? I feel like even the sleeve, it looks bra. <gasps> no use, I'm thinking of getting it. Would that be silly? No. Oh, <gasps> tell me what I should do in the comments. Should I get it? Oh my god, use. There's more of those, like itching door five glasses here. You've got a bunny in. The heart was just seeing the mushroom. And there's more bunnies. They're literally 5 99 And also, I absolutely love these. I don't know what kind of like glass blowing is on that but it's a good and they've also got the Ray Dunn Springer Sprung Cups now if you know what Ray Dunn they're basically big in America and they're so expensive they're like 40 quid by the time people buy and resell them and they've got the Springer Sprung one and they've got all the rabbit plates no one else oh my god don't mess if you're hosting Galentine's this is a table runner an embroidered cut out how much is that 15 pounds worth every penny you've actually got a few bits they've got pink table mats You've got hard table mats, tablecloth, and they've also got um, these as well. Love drinks mats. Couldn't think of the name of them then. And they've got all the Starbucks dupe cups as well. They're like five ninety nine. They've literally got all of them. Got all the spring and all the Valentine stuff in. I've just smelled this. It smells of apricot and vanilla. Remember them yogurts you used to get as a kid? They used to like squeeze up the tube. They smell exactly like that, and it's given good PTSD. Can you even have good PTSD? I don't know. They've also got the Easter candles in. They are four pounds. I think they had them last year. And they got those gorgeous tea light holders. I think I showed them when I went to Manchester last week. But they didn't have as much stuff as they do in here. They've got loads of the spring bits as well. This is like their recycled glass vase. Um, they've got the most gorgeous diffusers. They're like body ones. And they've got really pretty. Like it's given like Laura Ashley. I feel like when they do spring here. I'm um, not impressed so far, you know, you. Yeah. It's a bit quiet over here, isn't it? They've got the disco bedding, which is cute. Thought they might have had more of the Valentine's bedding now. I can't seem to see it. Um, but I'm actually really gutted. I'm not really impressed, and I love Primark. Best believe when I'm rich, I'll be getting my art from here. Put that balloon dog out. It's actually like one of my like dreams. Like I want to like when I obviously get my own house and thing. I want to like collect art. Like look how cool that is. Like no one else is gonna have it. Obviously because they're like one off. Well, how cool would that be to be like, oh yeah, collect art. <laughs> so cool. Sorry, love, I never not noticed that the live birds are in between this. Mad 100% people think I'm a Taurus with this camera out in the middle of town. Hey gang, so just a quick one, I'm just on my way to yoga. Um, and I've come to the realisation that I don't enjoy exercising in the evening, which is so crazy. Is this anyone else? So when I was studying at uni, I used to literally go to the gym or go to the library of a night time till like one in the morning like I used to go <laughs> I used to go to the gym and it's like 24 hours so you go whenever and I used to go like as late as I could like I used to be a proper night owl by the way I'm still a night owl like I work into the dead of the night so I just can't help it um, and that's okay because I've learned to like I used to put pressure on myself because I used to be like I'm not an early bird like I can't get up early and now I know I work better in the night so I just take advantage of that like there's no scale like the way people say like you have to work at certain hours like I know that works for me so if I'm working 
it doesn't really matter when I do it and especially because I work for myself like I work into the dead of the night whoever knows me knows me I send like TikToks at like 3 in the morning and people wake up and like Ellie are you mad but I know it's probably unhealthy we were watching like what but like that just works for me and that's okay I get up a bit later I wake up a bit later it is what it is but that like I just hate when people say you know it's a 6am club you've got it I'm not a 6am club don't go wrong a few years might be anyway I've drifted I'm literally it's slipping the class starts in 10 minutes <laughs> anyway I absolutely love going to yoga and pilates but I want to do like four classes a week so I've picked up a new class which is tonight and all my other classes are in the morning and I love doing a morning class because my morning class is like 10 and this is like set half seven and I'm just like what's past seven I just don't know so I'm going to get back to you on how I feel like I've just changed I used to be such like an, a late exerciser and now I'm an early morning exerciser so yeah I'm going to head out now Why do I look that pale? It's definitely this lighting, that's what I'm telling myself. Anyway, I've just been into Home Sense. We're literally, quite frankly, we're outside. Um, standard. I'm literally, I live in here. I think I'm in here more now than when I actually worked here, which is absolutely fine. Anyway, does it need any more words? Sorry, my car's just kicking off here because we're just waiting patiently. The Valentine's Bear Brick girl, finally got her hands on. I don't know whether I actually mentioned it in this vlog that I wanted it or whether I'd just seen TikToks because I am. I am a bit rude really to be honest with you because if I see something that I really want <laughs> and it hasn't came into our store yet I, I tend not to share it just I get scared because I know what you are like like anything I share you just flip and sell out and buy and yeah so I was like no I need my hands on this so I was like to the guys I was like listen if this comes in please let me know um, for anyone who doesn't know by the way I always say it but I used to work in this store I used to work for Home Sense so I know everyone there and I was like literally if this comes in let me know so I got the text I was running here I was literally on toes like I just yes I can't wait to go back and style it and also I haven't even wrote my bag yet we need to sign a coach baggy which reminds me a little bit like that so maybe that's a hint so we're gonna go home trust me oh I've got no makeup on or not oh, I'm just feeling I'm having that week of the month where you're just feeling a bit bleh and i think me the paleness of me is saying bleh to be fair um anyway we're gonna go home i need to plan for the podcast it's friday I'm gonna be real i haven't recorded the podcast yet but that doesn't matter because i've got friday saturday sunday and it takes a whole day and a half to edit it don't don't even at me just make sure we're all, we're all good to go Hey gang, a little bit of behind the scenes of what's going on in the poddy today. Um, it's Saturday, I'm recording it quite late this week, I've been really busy. So all I'm doing is going through my notes um, to see um, what we're speaking about today. Um, so this podcast will be live tomorrow. If you haven't already, please do listen to the one from last week, it's really good. Um, it's not in like my hair today though. It's just not it, you know. I'm actually going to stop, does it look a show you, to be honest. Does it look shit? And my neck. I haven't tanned in forever and I'm not planning on either. Anyway, that's just going off on one. I'm literally about to record this podcast. It's about... Can I tell you what it's about? No, I can't because it's not live till tomorrow. Don't do that. Um, Yeah, it's going to be a really good episode. She hasn't even recorded it yet. But the lighting is kind of on my side, kind of not. Um, it's just a bit grey, isn't it? It's the only problem with flipping living in the UK. Manifesting some sunny move um yeah so i basically went to pilates this morning about to edit the podcast and then after i've edited the podcast we're going to open my baggie it's literally there i'm gonna do a tiktok and also film it for this it's, by the way it's so weird because i can hear myself talking in this mic um so yeah i went to pilates this morning feel a million dollars just setting up all the audio now um and then i've just been you know what i think i'm gonna do is i haven't like on my tripod i think i need to put like a mark on the floor you know like where it sits so that every episode i know where it sits and then maybe put one on the door so that i know what level the camera's at because i've just been there sitting there for 10 minutes like faffing about and i don't even think this is the same angle i use i tried to measure it off the bear but it didn't work but anyway just about just going to record the body <laughs> and then um do you know what i need as well i feel like i love like obviously i love podcasts but I feel like a lot of the ones I listen to. And by the way, did I, you stop. I didn't tell you. We're, in, we're 59. And by we, I mean we. Because this podcast is not just this girly. It's all of us combined. 59. 
in the UK design and home um like that's where all like the big dogs and like design and home sit now I'm sitting there 59 I didn't even think we'd make it to the top 100 for a good while and I'm 59 this week <laughs> so I'm really excited so if you do enjoy the podcast please do like it subscribe on your podcast platform over here on youtube because it really does go a long way and it does mean a lot and by the way i know 59 would be a big deal to everyone but like that this is my baby so that is just crazy should have got makeup on my lovely podcast bag um but yeah anyway i'm trying to record the pro podcast and i'll be back oh my god yes i've just opened my baggie no i am obsessed isn't she gorgeous so it's like this burgundy cherry red and everyone's absolutely shocked that I went for this bag because as you know I'm very very much a neutral queen but like I don't know what it is I think it might be the fact that I've got the Valentine's bear brick yesterday but honestly it's been sitting there for a week and I literally have been promising to film it I'm not over it it feels like an expensive queen so I actually bought myself this it was in the sale it was only 330 instead of 550 I say only but like I'm not one really to like buy myself designer things I've just never been like that but obviously if there's something really nice I would like to buy myself it I've bought like trainers and things like that but like I'm just I'm just not really materialistic in that sense don't get me wrong um if so to be fair now if someone offered me a bear brick or a bag I probably would pick a bear brick like a real one but there is times when I'm just like, I just felt like I needed to treat myself like, I never treat myself really and everyone always says this and I'm just like, I always put everything back into me work and my business and you know, I do go out on things and like enjoy myself and whatnot but like when it comes to big lavish purchases I just don't um, and I wanted to this year like, you know, I think to myself, I don't know a fella and if I did, you know, he'd buy me something and I'd buy him something back so I'd only be buying it for myself anyway so we need to like, start bringing in the fact that you should buy gifts for yourself for christmas so i'm going to see this as like a well done for me for 2023 and here's 2024 bag and also i'm in london quite a lot and i'm going to be more so this year and i feel like i needed like a big bag that could fit everything in and like although i do love me steve madden bag still girls i feel like this was just something i really really wanted to get myself so yeah um and just like thank you so much because like obviously use helping and support in my business is enabling me to feel like i'm worthy of these things so yeah thank you so much um come in a dust bag and everything in a box and like who is she um but i'm actually just going to go in and start editing this vlog um and then i'm off to the cinema with my friends so yeah thank you so much for tuning in to this week's vlog i do hope you enjoyed it and love going to all the home shops as well this week and um, i've really enjoyed vlogging as i say i'm wanting to get back into it and um, i make sure you tune into tomorrow's podcast episode as well it's going to be a really good one but i'm going to see that anyone anyone but you um so i'll probably throw a few clips in there i'm going with my mate um, at the end of this and then you probably that will be like the outro this will be my outro so yeah um i've got some fun things lined up this week so stay tuned for that i've probably got absolutely no lip gloss on oh no it's not too bad is it but yeah anyway thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe and if there's any videos that you do want me to do whether that be interiors or do with the podcast anything honestly please drop me a message over here or on instagram and yeah i hope you have a gorgeous week and i'll see you at the cinema <music> <laughs> when you have her for it's no knife. Oh, yeah, nice. It's just so it's giving a DIY job. It is. It's giving art. Why have we got the like where the bright lights are? Yeah. Yeah, no, I noticed that. Now everyone else is in the dark. We've really got this big mass of lights here. Yeah. <laughs>
So we're two s single girlies. It was quite um, it was quite depressing in that sense. Yeah, it was. It makes you feel really single, but it was really good. And there was like yeah, loads like of couples there. Like it was kind of a mixed bag of film. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was an easy, easy phone watch. It was. I mean, I don't know why I think I'm a movie reviewer. No. <laughs> But it was really good. I went the everyman and I loved the everyman. It's just like cozy vibes. Yeah, because you got couch and food. I got a fat burger and it was so nice. It was so good. But it was so good. We're cold. I'm driving home. Yes. We're being sensible. It's dry January. Just sensible. <laughs> sensible Sally's. Okay. Love you. Bye. bye. <laughs>